Hey guys, this is New Sensei, and today we're talking about bow packages. You may have noticed if you're buying your first bow that you can get entire bow packages. These have everything you need. You can often find them on eBay, but I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about the ones offered by archery stores. Uh, so before we get into details, let's look at some of these packages. So firstly, we'll take a look at Lancaster Archery Supply. Now there are four packages. These are new arrivals. Uh, this, they offer the Samic Polaris package. Uh, the three or the four options are the four different sizes, 48 to 66. Uh, if you take a look inside the uh, 66 inch Polaris option, what you get in this package is pretty standard for a beginner setup. Uh, the cost is $170. Now, this is quite important because a lot of people might be sucked into buying the Samic Sage, which costs about $130. Now, for another $40, bucks, you get a package which includes uh, basically what this says, everything you need to get started in archery. You get the recurve bow, you get a very simple sight. It's a plastic sight. Um, you get a, an arrow rest like that, a saber arrow rest. Uh, you get the no glove, uh, attachments. There's no finger tab required. Uh, you get an arm guard, a, a basic case, a bow stringer, a quiver, uh, three fiberglass arrows, and two, uh, target faces. Um, so, Look, the fiberglass arrows aren't great. I mean, this is a huge cost cutter, but considering you're paying only $170, and this is only $40 more than a standalone Samic Sage, uh, this is quite an economical deal. Uh, the whole point of this, it gives you everything you need to get started. It doesn't need to be great. It gives you all the tools you need to shoot your bow. So that's the Lancaster option. Okay, now we'll take a look at Merlin Archery, which is one of the biggest stores in the UK. Uh, they offer a few kits, and uh, this is the first one. This is the first shot archery kit. Uh, it comes in ladies and teens and adults and all that. Um, and it costs £122.72, which is 150 60 US around there. Uh, so it's about the same price as the package we saw at Lancaster Archery. Uh, what do you get? Uh, you get the uh, takedown bow. Now this, this used to be a Samic Polaris. I'm not sure what it is now. It is... Uh, it doesn't say what it is. So it's a pretty generic brand. Um, I mean, it depends on what they have in stock. So they're all very similar. You get no loss in quality. So you get a wooden takedown recurve bow, five fiberglass arrows. So that's two more than Lancaster. You get a foam target. Oh, what's that? Where's the, where's the, oh, you, you get one of these. That's actually a pretty nice package. Um, not, not a great stand, but it's quite good for getting started. So, um, that's actually quite worth the price. You also get, uh, four target pins. You get a 60 centimeter target face. You get an arm guard, a basic finger tap, a burst string, a bow case, and a quiver. Um, that's not a bad deal. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, that's good value. Now, um, the shop also offers, um, a premium archer kit. Now, this is 175 pounds, which is about 250 US dollars. And this is the, a lot of shops have a package which is built around a particular bow. Um, this one is a, an, an SF Axiom. So it's my bow. No, it's the SF Axiom. Uh, so this is the SF Axiom. It's a very popular bow for beginners. A lot of shops offer this. You also get, um, a set of uh, ILF target limbs. You get a Daxon Rico string, two brass knocking points, two super rests. That's good. That's a nice spare. Very reliable rest. You get a, a sight. Uh, I'll try to see what the sight is. The sight isn't, it's a pretty standard sight. Nothing, nothing too special. I can't actually open the thing right now, but very standard sight. Um, you get a bow stringer. You get a, a stabilizer. That, they get one long rod stabilizer. You get six Eastern Jazz arrows. These are very good beginner arrows. Uh, aluminiums, the purple as well. Uh, an arm guard. You get a finger tab, uh, which is one of these. A fancy one than the normal stuff you get. Uh, a quiver and a backpack. That's actually a pretty nice deal as well. Uh, that's a backpack there. Um, so that's actually not bad for 250. It's a bit more expensive, but you get again everything you need. Oops, you get everything you need to shoot. So, uh, this is the more upscale version of the first shot archery kit. This is acceptable, uh, as a wooden recurve. This one is going to give you a slightly more upscale start, especially if you're looking at doing target archery, uh, Olympic style at the lowest possible entry 
price. Okay, now we turn over to Pat's Archery in Australia. Um, they do offer a lot of packages again, and um, the pricing may sound a little funny to you. Uh, they offer um, four uh, beginners packages, and this may seem a little bizarre to you because the prices range from 400 to nearly 1400 Australian dollars. Um, but what Pat's Archery does is they give you different um, core components as entry level. So we'll go through each one. Uh, the Recurve Beginners Package 1 is the cheapest one at 400 Australian dollars, which is around uh, 320 uh, US. And what you get is a Samic Polaris, uh, Dakin String, you get arrows. Does it how many arrows you get? That's a little confusing. Um, but you get, uh, yeah, Eastern Genesis arrows, you get a quiver, you get a sight which um, was not included in the American package. You get a leather arm guard and finger tab, knocking points, and a Hoyt Super Rest or Hunter Rest. That's a pretty standard rest. Um, and these are sometimes Phoenix Blaze or they are the Samic Polaris, which is a pretty uh, standard of offering. So that's the first one. The second one is when you start getting the Olympic style target rig of packages. This one is the Samic Axiom Plus riser. Again, a very good beginner riser. Um, you get uh, decent limbs. Uh, Dactyl string, which is a bit of a letdown. You know, you should be using fast flight, but cutting cost here. You get uh, jazz, so nine arrows, so jazz or beam flash, uh, a quiver, sorry, a cartel K site, a plunger button, stabilizer, and so on. So this is on oh, a bow stand as well. That's actually quite important. No bow case, just a bow stand. So you get a an aluminium riser, uh, which is the standard for Olympic style archery, and it has everything you basically need. Uh, not a complete package, but enough to get you started. Um, I actually bought one of these. Uh, wasn't this particular package? I actually bought the Samic Agula as my first bow from this shop. So it gives you everything you need for your first kit. You will need to add more stuff as you go along, but this is basically what I got for this price. So that's actually quite a good deal. Um, the next level up is the uh the one the one thousand Australian, uh which is around uh eight eight fifty nine hundred US or something, um. So you get the Hotel Ryzen twenty five inch uh riser, uh good limbs, a fast flight string that's a big difference there. Uh nine pretty good aluminium arrows. You get a bigger quiver, a better sight. You get the Shibuya plunger which is very good. Um, you get a finger tab from Deckard. Deckard's a Chinese brand, but they offer some good stuff. Uh, you get a bow stand, a bow string, a bow square, a stabilizer, a clicker, and a super rest. So this is actually an even more complete package for the uh, target archer. And look at the final package, the 1300, which is around 1150, 1200 US. Um, the same rise, the Hoyt Horizon. Again, a, a pretty decent mid-range riser. Uh, same limbs, a, a, a an eighty one twenty five uh string, which is a fast flight style material. Uh, good arrows, uh, a good quiver, same sight, same plunger, same arm guard, a very good finger tap. This is a bit preferential, but um, I've used one of these. It's very nice. Um, bow stand, bow stringer, bow square, the same. Uh, a chest guard. It comes with a chest guard. Comes with a backpack. Okay, so this is what Pat's offers. They offers four different levels, and the high up you go the more stuff you get. And this is something we'll see later on. Um, you don't necessarily get high quality stuff. And in most of these cases, the bow itself isn't that much of a difference, but you get more stuff or more expensive package. Okay, last one, we have uh, Urban Archery in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, they offer, I remember they used to offer a an intermediate horizon based package for about $1,000. Uh, they don't offer here anymore it seems, they have plenty of compound packages, but they still offer a lot of Hoyt packages. So you see they offer the GMX, the GPX and the uh, Hoyt Prodigy, which is the current top line Hoyt bow. We'll take a look at the uh, GMX, that was a pretty um, old school bow uh, a few years ago, and the Prodigy is the one I'm looking at. So these are very high prices. $2,000 for a starter package. Um, that's around uh, 1800 US uh, around there. So if you look at what they offer, let's look at the cheap one first. This is the, the Hoyt GMX, which is still a very good bow. Um, what you get is uh, a bow and bow accessory. The, the GMX riser, uh, uh, SF or Samic limbs, uh, 12 Eastern Apollo arrows. These are the one of the cheapest carbon arrows, but they do the job, so that's fine. The SF Velocity Sight, that's actually quite a decent sight. Uh, clicker, Hoyt Super Rest, that's pretty standard for uh, most bows. Um, plunger, 
stabilizer V bars and side rods so the whole package you get a pretty good string uh, arm guard uh, sling finger tap bow string equiver bow bag chest guard bow stand uh, and configuration if required so that's um, a, that, that's a pretty good package again the GMX is quite an expensive for us especially down here um, so that's the 1750 for two hundred dollars uh, more you get the Hoyt Prodigy which is the current top end Hoyt riser um, so you get I think the same thing really you get uh, nine arrows you get the Hoyt Prodigy riser uh, Hoyt limbs which is actually quite good uh, and the rest are more or the same thing Basically, there are two kinds of packages. There's the basic beginner package and the advanced package. The beginner packages are similar to youth kits and they're appropriate for people who are just getting into the sport. They contain a basic wooden recurve bow, uh, three to six arrows and an assortment of accessories. These are aimed at people who are just getting in and need to start somewhere. The advanced packages normally feature a key item, such as the riser or the entire compound bow, and all the accessories are built around it. Uh, you, it's meant to get you to grow into your bow as you progress, rather than changing it out for a different one. Um, you will get decent quality limbs, you will get a dozen uh, cheap but very good carbon arrows, uh, and you get an assortment of accessories like finger tabs and sights, and the actual quality depends on the price you're paying. Before we discuss the value of these packages, let's talk about what their purpose actually is. Many people have the impression that a package deal will give you more value for money than buying the items separately. The reality, however, is that the packages are designed for convenience, not value. You're actually not saving that much money if you bought a package compared to buying it separately. What they save you is not in money, it's in time and knowledge. Because most people who buy the first bow don't know what to get, the packages are put together so that you have everything you need to shoot. By the way, it's worth pointing out that this bow package is not likely to be your final set. Over the next few weeks or months, you will be expected to buy more things as you go along. You may need to replace your finger tab. You may need to replace your limbs because they're too heavy. You may need to change your arrows. These things are only meant to start you off, but they're not going to be your final archery set. Let's go through the basic beginner packages. Most stores will have something like this. They will have a set which they will ship out to absolute beginners. What you get is not this cheap fiberglass stuff. You get a real bow. You get a real wooden takedown recurve. It functions. It looks and feels nice. Some packages will actually upgrade you to an aluminium riser. So you get a pretty good bow in your hands for a very low price. If you're not picky on what you are getting, then this is good value for money to get you started and get you shooting safely. Where these beginner packages are limited is if you are not an absolute beginner. If you are slightly even beyond that absolute beginner stage. Let's say you've completed an archery course. Um, what you are basically buying is what they are using in that course. The same kind of bow, the same kind of accessories. So you're basically going to buy something you're already using. If that's what you want, because let's say you don't uh, stay with the range or stay at the club, you want something for yourself to practice, then yes, you can buy one of these packages. But you may already have developed a preference for certain equipment. You may not want to use your $5 leather finger tab. I want to use a $50 more advanced one. You may want to actually go into shooting Olympic target recurve rather than using a basic wooden recurve. So in many senses, you can skip this package. This is only meant for people who haven't shot before, who may want to do some shooting in the backyard or on their farm. They're not meant for people who are getting a first bow but have already shot other bows. For the advanced packages, especially the target ones, 
um, you are paying mostly for the feature item, which is the compound bow or the riser. Everything else is picked to complement it. You're not getting cheap beginner stuff, you're getting fairly decent intermediate equipment. You're not getting the top end, usually, but you're getting very good functional workable items. Remember, you're mostly paying for convenience, not value. If you are doing a blind buy and you want to get a really good bow and really good accessories without researching and without going to the effort of customizing, this is worth it. You get good stuff. However, because you're spending so much money on what could be your professional shooting setup, you may want to consider not buying from a package because the package picks things for you. What you may prefer to use will be very specific to you. You may prefer a particular finger tab more than another. You may prefer to use this site more than another. Especially if you're spending a lot of money on a site, you might want to pick what site it is. So the more advanced you are, the more you need to customize and personalize the choices you make. That means even though you can customize the package, you don't need to look for it, okay? You might instead assemble your own shopping list of items. You may want your Hoyt Prodigy or your Win & Win uh, Realwist Nano Max. You might want a certain set of limbs. You may want a certain uh, set of arrows. These things normally don't come in the package because the package isn't meant for the advanced professional shooter. If I want X10s or ACEs, I won't get that in a package. These are very high-end personalized buys. And if the shop uh, doesn't give you a perfect match, then they won't give it to you. Uh, that's why they give you cheap arrows. It's why they give you cheap limbs. The cheap arrows are replaceable. They get you started, they get you shooting nicely, but you still have to pick something later on. Limbs. You will progress through limbs. You won't start with your $700... 50 pound limbs right away. You'll be starting from 25 pounds or 30 pounds. And these are normally cheap wooden limbs. And the shops normally know this. They will give you an excellent core package. Good accessories, good riser, but everything else is replaceable because they know you will grow through it. They know you will change. So if you actually want to get a final high end bow, then avoid the package. You already know what you're getting, just buy what you want to buy. What is more likely to happen is that you will get your kit in bits and pieces. Most people with that high-end Hoyt or that high-end win and win already have bought one or two bows before that, and they're progressing with their equipment. They might change their riser, they might change their limbs, or their stabilizer, or their sight, one piece at a time. So that they don't actually need to buy a complete kit because they have half the stuff, they're just adding on slowly. Now, if you're buying from scratch, if you have no archery equipment and you want a very good kit, then this is good value. The advanced packages are good value because you get everything you need and it's a good quality. But if you already have archery equipment, you don't need to buy a whole new package for your new riser. Just get the riser or get the parts you need and upgrade as you go along. Again, the question remains, are these packages worth it? Remember, the key is convenience, not value for money. For the beginner packages, for an absolute beginner who has no idea what to get or how to research it, it's a good deal. These kits are designed for you, especially the ones from the archery stores. Not the eBay ones, the archery shops, the ones which are actually archery professionals. Because they would like you to return and buy more things. They're going to support you in your purchase. You're supporting them. Um, they've done this many times for many hundreds of beginners. So it's quite normal, they know what to do, and they're quite flexible. So if you don't know what to get and you just want to get a bow package, the beginner packages um, are fine. They're a safe buy. You get everything you need to shoot safely. For the advanced packages, the target audience is different. I know beginners can buy this. 
uh, but they're not really meant for the absolute beginner. Now, even if you are a beginner, let's say you have a lot of money you want to spend, and you're happy spending that on a good bow which you won't replace. This gives you good value again. It's, it's good because you have everything you need. But this is my opinion. Because you're spending so much money on advanced equipment, um, I would seriously suggest you research your equipment more personally. Um, the higher up you go, the more you want it personalized for you. You get good stuff in this package. Yes, absolutely. But you are spending lots of money on things that might not suit your preferences. And that's something you can be very careful of. Again, if you started from scratch and you have nothing, sure, this is a starting point. It builds you up. But, I don't know, I wouldn't be comfortable spending, you know, $1,500 on a bow, which I might not like the look of or the feel of. I might not like the quiver that comes with it. I might not like the finger tab. I might want to spend 300 bucks on a different side. These are the things which you've got to sort out. And you can only get this by research and by handling the equipment yourself. I'll be very careful. Um, I'm not saying stores will rip you off. Stores won't rip you off. They will give you a good package and a good deal. Uh, but the saving is, again, inconvenience. If you want to go to the effort of customizing a bow that you want, you will have to do your own shopping list. And you can customize the order to a certain extent, but past a certain point, you may as well buy things separately. Have your shopping list, have your, your list of items you need, your riser, your limbs, your string, your plunger, your sight, and so on. Have that list. You have your package as a starting point. If you don't know what to get and you want to make sure it's the right sort of uh, inventory, then you look at the package. But if you want to get something which matches your needs and your preferences, you don't need a package. Buy things separately. You're not saving much money anyway. It's all about the expertise and the experience and the knowledge of what you're getting. If you can do it yourself, then, you, then that's completely fine. You get a much better kit that suits you. Otherwise, you're not saving anything. The main message in this video is the packages offer you convenience, but they take away personalization. If you don't need to personalize your equipment, such as your beginner gear, then they're completely fine. But if you really need to personalize your choices, such as your advanced shooting gear, then that's when the packages probably don't hit the mark for you. They're meant for someone starting from scratch. If you are already partway through your archery kit, then you don't need to get more packages. Anyway, hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.